you've got questions, we've got answers, and we have the man to answer them, Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham Wealth Partners. Jeffrey, welcome back to the holiday, the all holiday edition of Ask the Hammer. Hey, Bob, it's good to be back. Happy holidays, sir. Happy holidays. I've got them all covered here. You did a nice um, job. I, I, I have not... Uh... I have not covered them all, but I, we've got the hat, we've got snow, it's festive. Yeah, but your head is covered and it's really? snowing where you are, so that's appropriate. And Sorry, very cold in here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, and I think what would be appropriate would be for you to open up your inbox and let us know what kind of questions are there. Absolutely, yes. So uh, this question comes to us uh, from Peter, who asked us a, a common question. Essentially, he says, I am uh, just about 70. I'm getting ready to take my social security benefit. And my benefit is, is much larger. He estimates his benefit will be about $4,000. And he said his wife has taken off the past 30 years or so from work. So her estimated benefit at her full retirement age, and she's about 10 years younger, will be only, quote unquote, four or $500 in his words. So his primary questions are, you know, what what are the potential benefits for, for his wife? If he passes away, does she get his larger benefit? What is she entitled to while he's alive? And in essence, there are three benefits here, Bob, that we're looking at. We're looking at the own retirement benefit that his spouse might be entitled to. We're looking at a potential spousal benefit that she might be entitled to and the survivor benefit that she might be entitled to. Now, the retirement benefit she would be entitled to, that's based on her own earnings history. And as Peter said, that's probably about four or $500 at his wife's full retirement age, which would be 68. Now, like other individuals, she would be entitled to take that as early as 62, but it would be a reduced benefit. Now, notably, when she claims her own benefit, Peter will have already claimed his own retirement benefit. And so not only will she be entitled to her own benefit, but she'll be entitled to a spousal benefit as well, because Peter's benefit, half of Peter's benefit is larger than her own. So where Peter's benefit, his full retirement age benefit, which is what the spousal benefit is based on, is probably about $3,000 or so, just ballparking it here. So that would mean that his wife would be entitled to about a $1,500 full retirement age spousal benefit compared to her own $500 benefit. The earlier she takes one of those, the earlier she will take both of those. So the sooner she takes it, the sooner she will begin to receive both of those. And of course they would be reduced if she claims before her full retirement age. The opposite, the other, I shouldn't say the opposite, but the other benefit here that we have to feel, uh, still deal with is the survivor benefit, which is what happens if Peter passes away. And here, if Peter passes away, when his spouse reaches her full retirement age, she would be entitled to the benefit that Peter is receiving now when he passes away, plus any cost of living adjustments. Right. So this is always a complicated issue. We get tons of questions around this very same thing. Um, a question Those around, generally go hand in hand, right? Complicated right. issue, lots of questions. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, with respect to spousal benefits, if she was to be younger than, say, age 60, uh, and he was claiming his benefit at full retirement age or age 70, would she be entitled or not to that spousal benefit if she was under age 60? Not under age 60. So in order to claim a benefit, your retirement benefit and a spousal benefit, you generally need to be at least 62. For a survivor benefit, you generally need to be at least 60 years old. But if you're disabled, you can claim that as young as 50. But again, there would be reductions in the amount that you would receive for claiming early. So ultimately, based on their fairly significant age difference, and you know every situation is different, I would not call this advice. I would simply say that this is the most likely outcome for Peter and his wife is that when his wife reaches age 62, she should probably begin to take social security at that time because they have a pretty significant age difference. So when she's 62, he might be, you know, 74, 75. And when Peter ultimately passes away, his wife will step into that benefit that he is going to receive uh, right now. So unless Peter thinks he's going to live until like, you know, 90, which, you know, is possible, uh, actuarially speaking, likely not, but certainly possible, 
uh, then he's probably better off having his wife take her benefit and his spouse will benefit when she turns 62. And then when he passes away, that benefit that she receives goes away for her and she steps into his larger benefit at that right. time. Right. So the other common question that we get when we deal with this kind of question is also if the surviving spouse should remarry and and is ha is claiming survivor's benefits, those benefits um, stay in place or go away? Depends. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> so as always, there's always a complication here. But, uh, you know, in, in large part, it, it would depend upon what that benefit was that they were receiving versus what they could receive in a spousal benefit from a new day. The nice thing is here, you tend to get the, the better of the options. Yeah. So it's um, but hopefully that doesn't happen for Peter and his wife for a long time. Right. So I su suspect if folks have more questions about Social Security, there's a way to get them answered. No, no more. We're done. This is it. This is our land. No, of course. Yes. yes, this is it. This is our we surprise. We're done. Our season finale. <laughs> uh, we would love to take your questions. You can email us uh, right here at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Again, give Bob and I a shout. Email us at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. And we look forward to answering your questions real soon. Mm -hmm.